Uh, hey there, um, it's me with another unboxing video. Um, you might notice that there's a, a light coming off of the camera. This is because I'm using a, a Galaxy S3 instead of my Vado. Uh, try not to mind the glare, but it's just not bright enough in here without it. It's the middle of the night and I'm just using overhead lights. So yeah, I'm getting on with the Ultimate Songbird edition of Bioshock Infinite. And uh, I got it at the midnight release, which means I had to actually walk there and then walk back with this box. But fortunately it's not as big as the Skyrim one, which I also had to walk with. I'll be comparing it to the Skyrim box in a, in a little while. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the sides. You can see, you can see the Songbird there. It actually looks like the wings already attached. I was told that it wouldn't be, but it is. Um, and so here's the side. You can see Elizabeth. Uh, Songbird Edition. Um, 9.75 inch Songbird Statue Limited Edition. Art book, Handyman figure. Devil, Devil's Kiss Lithograph. Murder of Crows keychain. Digital soundtrack. Upgrade pack and PC themes. Um, some pictures, some details. Um, uh, I'm bad with names. I think his name is Booth or something. No, wait, that doesn't sound right. I don't know. I don't remember what his name is. Yeah, I'm bad with names. I know her name, but I don't know his name. I can't remember. I okay. So I'm just gonna go on with opening it. Okay. Ugh. There we go. The top is just um, the logo. By the way, it's just the logo on the top. All right. Um. Um, opening the thing. Ugh. Push. Just this little design in the top. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take this whole thing out or not. Ah, yeah. Whoa. Here's the box with the songbird in it. So it's a box within a box, so you can unbox while you unbox, as the meme goes. Um, Sentinel of our fair city, uh, Fink Manufacturing. It's got that uh, retro style. Those of you who've been um, uh, uh, been on the net looking for uh, information and stuff, you might recognize this. This was um, one of the cover options, I think, uh, alternate covers or something. So you can see that there. Yeah, that's familiar as well. Uh, and then there's propaganda stuff. Are you a duke or a dimwit? Duke hears Billy's daddy spreading nasty lies about Father Com Comstock and reports it straight away to the police. Dimwit hears his own daddy criticizing his ward president and says, I'm too busy fishing to pass it off. Pass this on, maybe tomorrow. So yeah, remember boys and girls, don't be a dimwit. <laughs> Dimmit hides from the sky with apprehension, but Duke has nothing to fear from the songbird. All right, so yeah, some threat, yeah. So I'm just going to go, yeah, I'm just repeating everything you can see, just in case you can't read it. It might be too blurry or something. Um, oh, by the way, I'm, I'm using uh, a makeshift uh, stand uh, with a box and uh, some masking tape to get the angle done. So yeah. Um, I don't have a proper stand for my camera. Uh, it's just the vato is broken, so I can't use that anymore. It stopped working a while ago when I was trying to record for the video. So, whoa, it comes out. Uh, oh no, the dreaded twist ties. Uh, oh. Hey, they gave us some extra silica. Awesome, they're really nice like that. <laughs> Whoa, holding on to its face, probably not a good idea. Um, I'll just put the box over me, over here. And, whoosh. Oh, uh, it is actually, de ooh, it is actually detached, damn. It looked detached from the inside, but no, not so much. Ah, uh, you can see there's um twist ties to get off. Oh, well. Come on, go out. Uh, 
Oh, wait, actually, there we go. Got one out. Oh, jeez. Double twist tie here. That's pain. Uh, two sets of double twist ties. Great. It's going to take me a minute to get this off. All right. By the way, for those that don't know, this set was uh, $150. By the way, there was supposed to be some sort of EV pre-order bonus, but I didn't get it. Yeah, I thought I'd gotten it. I say it was another pre-order bonus thing, and he gave me this slip. It turns out to be another Industrial Revolution thing. I've already got one of those. Actually, I have two of those. Because I uh, the first one bugged out or something, and then work. Then save or something. I don't know. So I ended up getting a second one from the support. And, uh, oh, almost done, almost done. Ah, oh, this is annoying. It didn't fit in the holes very well. Go. There we go. Now, oh, there's still some on the base. Okay. Almost done. Yeah, this is, this is the most fun part, isn't it? The, of the unboxing, taking the stupid twist ties off. There we go. That's, uh, oh, that's one big void in there. It's very dusty, actually. I wonder how long they've been since, since they were made. Uh, 2009. 2013 Take Two Interactive Incorporated Ideal Planet LP uh, made in China. It's ST1208. So I'm wondering if I'm um, 1208. Uh, so I wonder if uh, there's like uh, 0001 out there or the first one made. I would imagine so, but I wonder who's got the first one ever made. Prob probably the president of Take Two or something. Ugh, there's all this extra wrapping here, uh, and of course there's more twist ties. They are obligatory. Ugh. Still, better a little bit excessive in the packaging than underdoing it. Okay, uh, this one's most annoying because the twist tie is actually really short. It just barely fits. And my fingers aren't that delicate. Uh, almost. Okay, this this is this is this was definitely more annoying. The two to undo. They're almost done. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. I don't I don't want to force it there. I think that's where it's just uh, attached. All right. Yeah, I was uh, slightly off camera on that. I know. Oh, oosh. There's one of the wings. <laughs> yeah. And put it down gently, gently. Don't want to break anything. And the other one. Oh. Yeah, this one's. break either. It's not that it really feels fragile, it's just uh, it is, the material is a little thin. And it's quite, oh, there we go, wedged in there. And there's my cat, you might see him in the back. Yeah, he did that the last time, didn't he? Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes in. Okay, you can see how it attaches in there. So I'm guessing you just push it in like this, and then just stick it in this back. And it just kind of rests there. It's probably not in right though. Probably have to push it in. Maybe put it in one at a time. I don't know. Let's see what happens if I try putting in just one. I don't, I don't know how far there. That's probably as far in as it's gonna go. I'll put in the other one. Ugh. Ugh. It's not being very cooperative. I'm just going to try again. Ugh. 
I don't know, I don't think it's supposed to go in there far or something. It looks like it's supposed to go in further, but there, that's, a, that's about as far in as it goes. It's not too bad, not too bad. It's got a fair amount of detail on it. It's got a fair amount of detail on it. The wingspan's pretty good. It looks pretty nice. I mean, I'm not an expert in figures. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. I'm, I'm not going to estimate it. I'd say something like two, maybe maybe three pounds. I'm not sure. Not very heavy. Anyway, uh, but it's got a decent amount of weight to it. It feels solid enough. Um, so, I, I, it looks pretty nice, actually. I'd say, in some ways, it's actually a fair bit better than the um, Alduin from uh, Skyrim Collector's Edition. I mean, there's a... Uh, um, there's like this fine little wire, wiring here and everything. Uh, here, I'll just uh, go get Alduin so we can compare the two directly. Uh, let's see. Of course, Alduin is bigger. He's got the whole base and everything. Alduin himself is, I don't know, a little bit bigger himself. But they're different shapes, so it's hard to compare them directly. Oh, there's, that, there's all that room here. There. Two of them side by side. Uh, so yeah, uh, unlike unlike with Alduin, uh, the main part of this guy is to actually attached to the base. It's just the wings that are loose. Whereas Alduin, he comes off. Uh, but yeah, you can see comparison wise, um, this one's wider because of the wingspan, but it's not nearly as tall. If you just take Alduin though, he's yeah. I'd say they're roughly the same size, base excluded, a little bit bigger because of the base. If you exclude both of their bases, I'd say oh, the wind's a fair bit bigger. Um, but um, I don't know. Actually, I'd say that um, weight-wise, weight-wise, they're actually close somewhat. If you exclude the hollow base, um, I'd, I'd say that the... Um, Songbirds more solidly built of the two, but this has a lot of spines and everything on it, so it's really nice. So they're both good, basically. I'm saying I, I'm not very good at critiquing s statues because I've only got like four or something like that, uh, for uh, like two or three figures plus these two statue things. So yeah, I'm just gonna put the statue off to the side and continue on with the rest of the unboxing. Yes. I could just imagine how big the file size is on my um, video now. Uh, it's uh, actually uh, 1080p resolution, 1920 1080p, whereas the uh, bottle was 720p. So, uh, whoa. Okay, let's see, here's the actual case. I, I, I would have liked if it was um, a steelbook. That would have really won me over if it was steelbook. Like, um, uh, Borderlands 2's was, so we have pretty basic case, there's supposed to be, um, there's supposed to be a reversible cover or something on it, let's see. Let's just take this off and see if there's a reversible cover on it. Uh, sees it pass. I've already got that actually, but um, yeah, let's see if there's a reversible cover. So this is what the cover looks like, the main cover looks like. Let's see what the reversible one looks like. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Looks pretty nice. Uh, don't mind the glare too much. The mind of the subject desperately struggle. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers, barriers to trans-dimensional travel. Hmm. Now that's indicative. I haven't read up too much on spoilers because of, uh, if I know I'm getting a game, I don't really like being spoiled by it. So um, I just you know general. I know that uh, the lighthouse at the beginning. It's it's very similar to the lighthouse from um, from. Bioshock 1 and 2, Bioshock 1, I don't know, Bioshock's 1, I remember it looked like it's like alternate reality, instead of going down the same lighthouse, it looked like the exact same island, I think it was, um, exact same island, instead of going down, they went up, 
that's the only real difference. It's just, um, well, everybody knew he was going to say, yes, he said, yeah, that's the cover now. Just flipped it around. Not that it matters too much. I got the PC edition, so I'm not even going to use the damn disc after today. Okay, let's see. Download your own soundtrack. I don't care really much if you accidentally see the code because I'm going to be using it before you ever see this video. So it's going to be used anyway. Upgrade pack exclusive. Um, start the game with three exclusive gear power ups Bow Rush, Extra Extra, and Betrayer. Plus Bioshock Infinite PC themes again in the back. I don't know what's up with the um, um, EB GameStop thing. Uh, this looks like a propaganda thing. I can't remember what it was. Uh, it's all it's all taped down. Damn, you gotta be really really careful. I don't rip anything. Gently, gently. There we go. Uh, I hate damaging stuff. Even if I never use them again, I hate damaging it. Uh, like the way with Devil's Kiss. Hmm. And here's the mini art book thing. Ooh, it's actually got a nice little worn texture to it. That's nice. It, it look, definitely looks worn. And it's got a nice little texture to it, actually. It's not glossy. And it's not, it's not just flat matte. It's actually got a little bit of texture on it. Like, like an old book. Which it's supposed to be pretending to be. Yeah. Art. Infinite. Whoa, Elizabeth looked a lot different earlier on. I know she went through some redesignings. Ooh. The outfits look really nice, actually. I really like them really good. Um, I, I have a friend of mine who's probably going to be one of the first people to watch this video. He's going to really like seeing this, I think. Uh, so you can see she went through quite a few revisions before they settled on the final version. Oh, it uh, looks like her as a little kid. That's nice. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this you're actually really seeing closely. But yeah, this is really nice. Booker, whoa, looks a lot different there. Uh, looks a lot thinner. Uh, the songbird. Stretch canvas over brass. Uh, oof. Uh, it's all nice. I don't want to show too much founders, uh, propaganda and all that. Of course, both sides have propaganda, of course. So just skipping through this, I'm just going to skip through this a little bit. Uh, Boys of Silence. Skyhook. So yeah, there's quite a lot. Yeah, and there's a separate art book that's coming out. I'm also getting that too. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, just coming out with this um, Murder of Crows thing. Ah, uh, come on, open without tearing, please. And thank you. That'd be really lovely. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, goosh. There I go. It's a little key ring thing. It's alright, it's got a little design in it. I tried much of this you could see. It's got a little design on it. It says, um... Can't quite read it, it's not that detailed. It does say at the bottom, Murder of Crows. I think there's a little bit of writing up at the top, I can't make it out. It might, it might be established... I, I can't read it really. It's not that detailed. So yeah, that's that. Um, and then there's the other thing. There, this... Whoa, whoa, no, I dropped it! No! Well, fortunately it's not that important, but still. Uh, the, wow, this is even smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I wasn't too keen on this part of the set. Uh, there. Just this tiny little figure suitable for um, like a board game or something. It's a, it's a really small handyman. Really, really small. It's the size of a uh, playing a uh, board game set piece. It's a really small, not, not too bad on the detail. It's all right. 
It's a little roughly cut, but considering the size, you can't expect much, can you? So yeah, that's that's it, really. There's nothing else in it. Got all this stuff covered. Yeah, so not too bad. Um, I think I was supposed to get something from the EB, but uh, I don't know. I'll call them about it or something. Uh, and that's it. That's the unboxing. I'm finally done after 20 minutes and a bit over 20 minutes of talking and showing you crap. Uh, if you if you're still waiting to get your um, Songbird edition, this is a nice little preview for those of you that didn't get it. Well, um, this is what you're not getting. Uh, okay then. Um, well, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, whatever, um, and I'm done.